it's uh it's a month over a month after the uh, the flood but the great surprise for me this morning is the repair work on the Ernest Bridge is starting at least. I'm surprised they haven't made more progress to be honest because they've been on it for a while. Uh, surprised to see the trees still over the top of the bridge but they're walking over the trees as opposed to clearing it off. I do wonder if they need help. I don't think it's for lack of volunteers. They seem to be under contract, Southern Contract Inc. But uh, the bridge physically looks okay. They've recast a slab of concrete um, at this end of the bridge. So that's an indicator to me that the bridge will be reopened as they line the bridge back up again. So this is, this is really good news this morning that uh, if I were to guess, the bridges, you know, a week or two away from being fixed. They're backfilling the erosion at this end right now and uh, preparing to recast the concrete safety barriers at the side. But that's a good indication of the size of the trees that were simply floating down the river. and of course over the top of the bridge. These four two inch water lines are the, uh, the main water supply into Chucky. I am surprised that they are sufficient, that they're working. We have water. So quite often the case with the bridges around here is that if they were not swept away, um, the water found a way around them when they got dammed up with the trees and the roads were taken out uh, either side of the bridge, which looks like this is what closed this. But good success, nice to see people working. Um, and uh, it would, would be nice to see somebody there with a chainsaw and a skid steer cleaning the bridge off. I'm really surprised that they've not done that. But uh, I guess it's... I'll go ask. It is possible that they, uh, they just need some help. We'll see. That's quite the vantage point. Look at those trees hanging off the bridge. It's amazing. And of course the destruction all the way down here. But... So I stopped and I talked to two people, one from the construction company, uh, one from TDOT that was sitting there in their van. And uh, I was actually not surprised to hear what I did, which was that um, TDOT say they're ready to do their thing, but somebody else hasn't done their thing. And without mentioning names, the people they're waiting on say that they're waiting for somebody else to do their thing. Um, the things they're waiting for could be done in a day. In fact, I could go fetch my gear right now and go do them. And I offered. Offered to uh, go fetch a dozer and an excavator and a chainsaw and get those trees off the bridge and uh, water company says they're waiting for that to happen before they can move the water line. TDOT can't resurface the road until the water line is moved. Uh, the guys with the trees don't want to cut the trees off until the water lines have been moved because they don't want to be the ones responsible for busting the new water line. And of course, meantime, nothing gets done. It's uh, it's not nice to actually hear those kind of things uh, when my equipment is five minutes away and I could help. 
So this is not the same situation as in other places where individuals can take care of problems. Around here you are not allowed to take care of problems because of excuses used um, and uh, responsibility not being taken. Or at least the fear of responsibility being taken is what's preventing stuff from from actually happening. It's, uh, it's quite... quite remarkable. But anyway, on with the day. The biggest problem as I see it with the three different uh, places that I visited in the last couple of days is that there's a lack of experienced project management. There are construction companies that are contracted to do things. They're waiting for various government officials there are many moving parts, as always, that don't appear to be scheduled in the right order to get things done uh, quickly. Um, it seems like the people that are making those decisions are not not as focused and not as aggressive as they, uh, they should be. So I'm uh, a little disappointed and underwhelmed with the folks that I've been talking to. And offering to help does not help they uh, they don't see it as possible it's not up to them you can't do things without permission yet we want bridges open and they're not right so another long drive today through the boonies uh, to get to where I'm going um, it's nothing like as bad as many others so we are lucky to simply have the inconvenience of a long drive um, these roads are perfectly okay. The scenery is beautiful. So what that it takes an extra half an hour each way to get anywhere. But soon the bridges will be open and complaining won't help. So uh, it looks like we're making progress, just a little slow.